Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to design the Automoblox wheel seen here. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in your 5.2b project here. Go ahead and click on that guy. And then we're going to come on up here. We're going to file and we're going to do a new design. I'm going to go ahead and close my data panel here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start a sketch now on our XY plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a series of circles that are offset from one another. So I'm going to come on up here. I'm going to grab my 2D circle drawing tool. I'm going to start at my origin here. And I'm going to draw out a circle that is 0.44 inches in diameter. I'm going to zoom in and sort of center this guy. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to set this as my home view here. Now I'm going to come on up to my offset button right here and I'm going to click on the circle I just drew and I'm going to offset it in a distance of minus, since we're going in, 0 0.05. Now let's go ahead and draw another 2D circle. So I'm going to click my circle drawing tool. I'm going to start at the origin again and I'm just going to draw out a circle of somewhere about this big or so. And now I'm going to come on up to my sketch dimension tool and I want to dimension from this circle to this circle. I want that distance to be a distance of 0.35. I'm going to hit escape to take me out of the dimension mode here. Now I'm going to offset this circle a distance of 0 0.05, positive 0 0.05 and hit OK. Now we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch and I'm going to hold down shift in my mouse wheel and, and move my mouse to get sort of an isometric view here. I'm going to come on over here to extrude and I'm going to extrude out this portion and that portion a distance of 0.57 inches and hit OK. So just as a reminder, don't forget to save. We'll call it the auto Moblox wheel and save. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start a sketch on this front face of the wheel right here. And we're gonna project some geometry here. So to do that, let's come on up here to create. We're gonna come down now where it says project include. We're gonna Select that option and come on over here to project. All right, and we're going to project a couple lines here. Now, when you select project geometry, what that does is it, it essentially draws features onto your plane. So I'm going to, by clicking this circle, it's going to basically project this line onto our drawing surface. So it basically draws the circle for us. All right, so I'm going to also click here and I'm going to also click here. I'm going to go ahead now and hit OK. All right. And that's it for this sketch. Let's go ahead and finish it. And now we're gonna extrude this center portion out in this portion right here. And we don't wanna do one side. We actually wanna go symmetric. We wanna go both ways, a distance, then select whole length. And then your distance, we wanna do that is 0 0.05. And we don't wanna cut, we wanna join, so hit okay. Now we need to basically make our spoke pattern. So let's go ahead and start a sketch now on this front face right here. Okay, so you're gonna come on up here, grab your, uh, your center diameter circle drawing tool. And right here, right in the middle here, I'm gonna zoom in. Right where it says place center point, I'm gonna draw out a circle with a diameter of 0.5 inches and hit enter. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my circle tool again. I'm going to start at the origin this time and I'm going to draw out a circle so that this circle, okay, is right on that line. And I'm going to click. All right. And now we're going to trim some stuff to clean it up. We're going to trim that and we're going to trim that. And if you get a warning sign, that's okay. Now we gotta basically make five of these with our circular 
tool. So we're going to come over to create. We're going to use a 2D circular pattern tool here. So we're going to click here on circular pattern and it's saying what objects do you want to reference or make a pattern of? And I'm going to click these two lines, this one and this one. And then it says, what's the center point you want to revolve around? And I'm going to select here and I'm going to select my center point. And by default, notice here it places three. Well, we got to make five of them. So I'm going to type in five and I want to make sure it goes all the way around a full pattern here and I'm going to hit OK. Now that we have our five features here, let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Let's go ahead now and extrude them out. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here, click here, click here, click here on all five of them. And I'm going to move my arrow to go the other way, a distance of minus 0 0.05. Make sure it says cut and hit OK. Now that we're done, let's go ahead and assign our wheel of material. And I believe these parts are made out of plastic, so uh, ABS plastic. So I'm just going to drag ABS over to it. Okay, and let's give it sort of a, an appearance. And if you look at these wheels, they're sort of glossy or shiny. So I'm going to select under paint here. I'm going to select um, sort of a glossy gray and hit close. And then finally, if you right click over here and you select properly properties, you'll get all sorts of good data on your part. It's weight or mass, it's density, it's area. Okay. All important stuff if you're designing or you're an industrial uh, CAD designer. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So remember, this was a simplified version of the Automobile Blocks wheel. If you want to make something that's a little bit more realistic, well, Go ahead and follow along for the next minute or two, and I'll show you how to make something that looks, well, a lot better in my opinion. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, remember down here, you can always edit things. So I'm going to come on over here now, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to edit this feature or extrusion. Come over here, and I'm going to make that distance 0.1, going both ways. Okay, I'm sorry, keep it on whole length, make sure it says join. Hit OK. Okay, that's OK because you're like, whoa, that looks weird. But that's OK. We're going to edit this feature now and we're going to cut it a distance of m minus 0.1. So we're good. Now let's go ahead and throw some fillets on our hub here, our wheel. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here on all these edges. And I'm going to change that fillet distance to 0.1 and hit OK. I'm going to make another fillet. I'm going to click on the fillet again. I'm going to click here, this line, this line. Basically, I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to make that fillet. Actually, I'm going to change this now to cord length. And I'm going to make that distance uh, 0 0.06. And it might take a second, but once you got it, go ahead and hit um, OK. And now we're going to add yet another fillet. So come on up here, select fillet. Instead of cord length, let's just go with constant radius. Click on this circle right here, and we're going to make that distance just 0.1. Hit OK. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to flip our part around. We're going to start a sketch on here. We're going to come over here to create, and we're going to select project again. I'm going to project that guy. And I'm going to offset it a distance of 0 0.039. Hit OK. And then um, let's see here. I'm going to do one more project geometry. Let's 
going to select that guy, hit OK, finish our sketch, and we're going to extrude this little bit inwards, a small tiny distance, because if you look at it, it actually goes in. And we're just going to do something real tiny, like 0 0.02. And maybe more. It's like, okay. And finally, the last thing we want to do is come on up here to construct. All right. And we're going to add a mid plane. We're going to add a plane that goes right down the middle of our wheel. So um, I'm going to select on this face. And then I'm going to flip my wheel around here. And I'm going to click on this very outer edge right here. And notice how it puts a plane right down the middle. Okay, and that's what I want. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we're going to start a sketch on here. So we're going to click Create Sketch. And we're going to start a sketch right on that mid plane here. And we're going to come back here to Create. Come down to Project. And we are going to project this outer line onto our plane that we just are drawing a sketch on. So click on that. And hit OK. And now we're going to offset that guy. That same line, we're going to offset it. We're going to go the other way in a distance of minus point. Uh, let's go with 0.26 or 0.25, whatever. The goal is to make it look real, like the real thing. So we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to come on over here to extrude. And we're going to click on that little profile right there. And we want to go both ways, symmetrical. OK. So make sure it says symmetrical, half length. And we're going to change that half length here to 0.25. OK, and it's going to make sure we're cutting and hit OK. All right, and there you have an automobile block wheel that looks a lot more like the real thing and something you can be proud of. All right, finally, when you're done, it's always cool to come on over here to render and get a really cool perspective sort of uh, rendered view of your object. All right, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.